that you guys can see in there. That boot is completely separated. guys Nick Nakai here let's drift media thank you guys all so much for coming back to the channel if this is your first time here do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below on today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove rear CV axles on a 240SX S14 S14 and S13 are pretty much the same I'm taking off these axles right now because they are like shot shot they have been shot they're making all kinds of noise and honestly it's getting like a little bit scary driving into the track and back so I ordered a CV axle rebuild kit off eBay, which should be here pretty soon. So I figured I'd make this video beforehand so I can show you guys how to remove the axle. And then the next follow up video will be actually rebuilding the CV axle. So let's go outside, let's get this car up in the air, take off the wheels and get started guys. Oh, I forgot, last drift event. Back bumper got RIP'd boy. Need a new one again. I gotta stop drifting with this thing on. God damn it. Alright guys, so we got the wheels off. Uh, first off, let me show you guys the tools you're gonna need. Start from the left. A hammer. Flathead screwdriver. Half inch breaker bar. 36 millimeter socket. Preferably half inch, cause this is for the axle nuts, which are on there super tight. And two 12 millimeter wrenches. So you're gonna need two. I'll show you guys why in a little bit. And... I have this Harbor Freight electric impact gun. This thing saved my life because I was trying right now to crack the axle nut loose with this and I ended up breaking the ratchet. Harbor Freight ratchet. The pin just cracked because I was using a jack to try and lift it up because that shit was too tight. And you guys remember the last time I tried to take off this axle nut by hand. So yeah, recommend uh, just a power tool to zap off these axle nut bolts unless you have like a really good breaker bar and you're strong as shit. Because usually they're going to be on there pretty tight, especially if they've never been removed before. So, Harbor Freight for the win. Alright, so once you got your tools ready, um, you're going to use the 36mm socket on the uh, axle nut. Uh, if you're doing it by hand, it's nice to leave the wheel on, and if you don't have a center cap, the socket will fit through there, so you can uh, loosen it like that. But if you do already have it in the air, you can just rip the e-brake and hold it in lock or park and then crack them loose um, once you have that loose if you can well, I usually spray a lot of WD-40 in there so let it sit for a little bit and you should be able to just push it through but if these axles have never been removed before you might have uh, trouble and you're gonna need to hit it with a hammer so just be careful if you're gonna use a solid hammer just keep the nut on a little bit so that way when you smack it you don't damage the threads but then again if you are replacing the axle you don't really need to worry about it and you could just go ape shit on it so once you're under the car it should look like this here's the axle has a play in it you can see all the tires tire strands right here i think that's partly why i ripped open my cv axle boots but you can see in here, trying to get the camera to focus because I have the wide lens on. But right there, you're going to have six 12 millimeter bolts and nuts in little pairs of two. That's why I recommend two wrenches because you need to hold one nut while you loosen the, or you're going to need to hold the screw while you loosen the nut. So that's basically it. Just have the car neutral and take loosen them up, take them off. Rotate the axles. Oh my god. Got grease all over my hand. I forgot the inner ones all torn up. But let's uh, take those off and then I can show you guys the next step. So once you got uh, all six nuts and bolts off, should look something like that. Make sure they're all off. Uh, 
So next thing you, what you're going to want to do is get a screwdriver and go ahead and shove it in between this little crack right here and then get a hammer and give it a good smack and it should pop open a little bit and from then you should be able to pry it down squeeze it down and maneuver the axle out it kind of takes a little bit of finessing but it's not that hard so once you got that split you're just going to want to pry it there we go Woo. damn all right so we got the axle out you guys can see in there that boot is completely separated and it's been like that probably for like the past six or seven drift events so hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh hopefully i did a good job explaining the easiest way to remove these axles because it's really not that bad guys just remember it's all nuts and bolts and i know i did show you guys on a 240 but honestly removing cv axles is basically the same process no matter what vehicle you're doing it on toyotas nissan hondas even bmws there might be a couple more things you need to unbolt like maybe you actually have to move the knuckle out of the way to get the axle out but it's all the same process guys so just apply that same knowledge to the vehicle you're working on so don't forget to drop a comment let me know what you guys thought about this video if it helped you out uh, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe that's it for this episode guys hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week i'll catch you guys next time peace